Okay guys, so we are gonna go over how to set up this PMU cordless machine. If you open up your box, you see that it comes with two attachable pieces. One is gonna be your wireless battery. That's this one here. I'm gonna take it off just so I can show you guys. Okay, so this wireless battery is going to allow you to use your machine wire-free, okay? If, you, if your wireless battery dies, you can use this other part which is used, um, so you have to use it on the um, on the power source. So let me show you guys that in here comes the cord. So yeah, if this dies, you can definitely switch it, put this on, connect your cord, and then use it while it's plugged in, and boom, it works. Um, make sure just to keep this charged because that's the reason we order these wireless machines is to be cord free, okay? So I just wanted to show you that first. So let's switch back over to our wireless. And it's really, really easy to just twist it right on there. Okay, so let me move that over. I wanna show you guys to set up. We have our sleeve here. Um, these sleeves are particularly, they're really long, so we just rip them, literally. We don't need them that long. You're gonna slip your machine inside. Okay. You're gonna open up your um, cartridge up um a couple people um i see different people set up differently some people will just do this and uh, attach it i actually like to fold it over so it's a, like a smaller let me do it again so it's like a smaller a smaller hole because we use our machine repeatedly everything else is disposable and i just don't want any cross contamination and we don't want to contaminate our machine we work as clean as possible okay so then i'm going to go ahead and just twist it in there okay you you're twisting left to make sure it's tight okay um after that we are going to use our bandage wrap and we are going to tightly um, wrap wrap this and we're wrapping our cartridge and our machine and our sleeve so everything stays put and then also so nothing's getting contaminated so um your bandage you can actually cut really small um i like to cut it i would say about maybe five six inches because i really like to wrap it and i like to be really tight so that way we're making sure everything stays stays put and stays clean Okay, so there it is. Let's talk about how to turn on our machine. This is actually really long. I'm gonna just cut it again, just by pulling it. You could use scissors, I just pull it. Let's talk about turning on our machine and how to operate the machine. Sorry, that's stuck. Can't get it off. Okay, so to turn on your machine, um, there's a button at the top. You just wanna hold it down until you hear the machine turn on. It's very, very light. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Very, very light. Um, your first option, there's gonna be three options as far as speed goes. Your first option is number one, it's gonna be the fastest speed. You click it once, it's gonna go to speed two, which is a medium speed, and speed three is a low speed. Okay, so for us, let's say that we're gonna do an outline. I like to do it at a speed one, which is a faster speed. And if you can't remember, if you listen to it, you can hear, you can hear the speed it's going. So at number one, it's the loudest, meaning it's going the quickest, the fastest speed. Um, I'm gonna leave it at a one because I actually leave your machine on while you are working on the length of your needle. Okay, so here there is um, a little knob. You wanna hold it, and then you're gonna turn your machine to the right, and you're gonna see your needle. I'm gonna see, can I, can you see it like this? What's the best way to see it? You can see your needle move. This is how you adjust your needle because you want your needle to poke out about two millimeters. And now I can't get it. Oh, wow. Sorry, guys. Sometimes with your wrap, everything just spins. Can you see it with the machine or with the... Can you see it inside of the camera? Mm -hmm. I can't get it out. Okay, I'm having te technical difficulties. <laughs> okay, turn it off and I'll copy and I'll like. Okay, we're back and we switched out the bib to black so you guys can see the needle. But I did want to show you because I was having I was having an issue um, changing the size of the needle. 
You can see here, if you get really close, you can see that it says um, out needle. So this is how far out your needle will be. So if you hold this little rotating knob right here and just move your machine, you can see that, that little arrow is gonna tell you here, the needle's gonna be out one millimeter. It's gonna be out half a millimeter. And look, notice how once I move this, the needle is also moving. Let's say I want my needle to poke out to one and a half millimeters. And then if I wanted it to two millimeters, I'd put it there. I like to work anywhere between a one and a half to two millimeters. You see, and that's how you would do it, but you don't wanna take off your sleeve to do that. You wanna be able, I just wanted to show you guys. You wanna be able to work with your machine covered, okay, to keep everything sterile. But that's how you adjust your needle. And that's it. And that's all I wanted to show you guys for the video. Thank you for joining and thank you for watching.